It's major indoor soccer league action. Tonight, the St. Louis Steamers versus the Tacoma Stars. Hello again, soccer fans from the Tacoma Dome. I'm Bob Robertson with John Best. And tonight, we bring you live play-by-play -play action of Tacoma's first major league professional team, the Tacoma Stars. And with me right here beside the field before kickoff time, the team captain, all-star defender, Ray Evans. Ray, your team really has turned it around. You're uh, four out of your last six. You won four in a row at home. You must be feeling like this team is now on a roll. Yeah, obviously, we're very pleased uh, with our recent performances, and uh, we're just hoping to maintain those performances, Bob. All the word has been that, uh, at least from the St. Louis side, they figure that the Tacoma Ball Club is a very, very rough physical team. Are you that? Uh, no, we go out to uh, to win the ball if it's there to be won, and uh, you know we'll uh, we'll play hard, but we'll play fair. Do the games get very physical? Some of them do. What uh, what happened to you down at Phoenix? I just uh, just broke a finger there in the first 30 seconds. Uh, nothing devious happened. It was just uh, you know in the in the run of play, and but uh, hopefully you know I got it plastered up and it'll be okay. You're all right tonight. Oh yeah. Are you predicting a victory over St. Louis? Uh, no, just hoping for one. I'm working out for one. Ray, good luck to you and the team. Thanks very much. Ray Evans, a captain, all-star defender for the Tacoma Stars, the president of the club, a former all-star player himself, John Best. John, St. Louis uh, is a severe test for the Tacoma Stars in this first live telecast. Yes, I think so, Bob. Uh, obviously, uh, the St. Louis team, result-wise, uh, of late, it hasn't gone right for them. They've been on the road. They've dropped a couple. But they're a very, very hard-working team. And uh, as we saw when we played in, in their building uh, quite recently, they can come back, they can compete with you throughout the whole game, and so it's going to be a tough game for us. Interesting thing in going back through the records, Tacoma won at St. Louis. St. Louis has won both games here. Is that a bad omen? Oh, I don't think so. I think it's just going to come down to tonight. You know, although the games have been very tight, uh, I think that really what uh, the type of thing which St. Louis are likely to do is to look to break very quickly against us. And they do break quickly. They're, they're very dangerous on counterattacks. From our point of view, we'll be pressurizing them, uh, worrying them, and really trying to test them all over the field. How good is St. Louis steamer Ricky Davis? Well, Ricky has had a big impact on the team. Uh, one of the things which he does ever so well, Bob, of course, is to play with his back to the goal. And he's very, very skillful, very strong, very well-balanced player. And so they play the ball into him around the goal. He turns his back and, and holds the defenders off and then has people either running off him or he spins to get shots in. So he's a dangerous player, and I believe he's the leading goal scorer right now. John, after a, a horrendous start by all counts, uh, the Stars now have a better record than two teams in the league and climbing fast with a four out of six. Uh, can you catch that final playoff for him? Oh, I think we can, Bob. Uh, as you know, we get up to a very, very late start in, uh, in putting the whole program together. And all you can do is initially to look at your performance levels. And uh, although the team was competitive early, it worked very hard, it was always just that one goal short and just, uh, just falling short. I felt that they didn't really get a, a good bounce of the ball at times. But then uh, they've shown a lot of character. They've now uh, uh, addressed that level of performance. They're becoming more and more consistent. And as long as they continue to progress, yes, we can, we can accomplish that. So that's the story. That's what the Tacoma Stars have to do here tonight against the St. Louis Steamers, who will drop down to where they are percentage points behind Kansas City in the race for first place in the Western Division. The Stars, with their 11 wins now against 21 losses, are six and a half games out of the lead, but they're only three games out of that last playoff berth. And so the Stars and the St. Louis Steamers go at each other tonight in major indoor soccer league action here in the Tacoma Dome. And we'll be ready for the opening kickoff and all the action of tonight's game after we take time out on this Tacoma Stars soccer telecast. End of the end of the corner of the field now, and it'll be played off the boards. And remember now, you can play the ball off the boards, but not over. If it goes over, it's out of bounds. Sam Bick that playing in back number 17. And now Mark Peterson with the ball out to Captain Ray Evans. Evans over on the left side for the Tacoma Stars to Ralph Black. Black goes down, ball goes right back to Ray Evans. This is Ray up the right side to Mark Peterson. Peterson with Dale Mitchell on the attacking line for Tacoma off the boards. Peterson trying to run on, and down he goes, upset by the defender. Now Evans knocked over by Bick. And John, that's a pretty good solid foul. Yes, obviously, it's going to be a competitive game like that, Bob. And, but around the boards, the, the officials are very careful because obviously it could, it could be quite dangerous for players. All right, here comes St. Louis. Now they've got a three-man attack going, and they'll bring the ball into the Tacoma end to try and set it up. Tacoma with a good, solid defensive unit back there, headed by number five, Neil Megson, and by Captain Ray Evans, number two, and they'll try to keep St. Louis at bay. Ball comes out in front, and they score early in the match. Nejo Pesha has scored the goal. He's 21st of the year, and John, they just got all around the goal and then got one there. Pesha there, number 16, was the man who scored. Yeah, 
very good goal from uh, St. Louis' point of view, a, a play which they do well. They use the board beside the goal. You can see the pacer has got the, the wrong side of the defender from the defender's point of view. And here's another angle from it. And you can see that the pacer, as he plays the ball back here, it's played down, down the sides to, against the boards. And there's pacer running onto the rebound. One goal by him. Into the roof of the net for a 1-0 lead very early in the match in the first minute for the St. Louis Steamers. And the ball controlled now by the Tacoma Stars. And that is uh, John Beretta, the goalkeeper, one of the best in the league at 4.60. And perhaps the best over the last month of play playing their hometown. Yes, uh, that really says a great deal for the quality of the uh, youth programs in the area, Bob. And, of course, uh, uh, certainly these players, uh, they're very competitive. They're very high-quality players. Here's Gary Heal up front now for the Stars at the front of the circle. Down the left side for Ralph Black. Black off the boards in front, broken up by the defense as they had a man right in front but couldn't get the ball to Charlie Carey. Ball cleared back down the field now, and John Beretta will come out to play it for the Stars. Can't use his hands once he comes outside that penalty area. Retreats ahead of Doran, rolls it out to Ray Evans on the left side. Here's the captain and all-star for the Tacoma Stars. To the right side to Heal out in front, broken up by Rose. And the well-organized defensive core for the St. Louis Steamers cleared that out to the red line. Stars right back, building the attack. Evans high in front. Heel heads it back in front, and out comes Ilyashevsky to gather that one right at the line. Throws out on the right side. Here's Ricky Davis, broken up by Megson, who drives it right back in. Headed on out, and Ray Evans runs on. A battle for the ball. Ray is down, and we'll have a foul call this time on Redmond Lane. Lane, a 5'8", 148-pounder from Cork City, Ireland. Ball played back now to the center circle. Megson, Neal with the ball. His brother plays professional soccer in England. His dad is back over there once again. Here's the ball taken by the St. Louis Steamers to Sam Bick. Bick starts out on the right side. Bick sends it on through. Carey blocked it with the last part of his anatomy going across the red line. And the ball down the left side as the horn sounds. And we come to the end of the first quarter of play here at the Tacoma Dome. And at the end of the first quarter, on a goal in the first minute by Nejo Pesha, the St. Louis Steamers have the lead over the Tacoma Stars. It is St. Louis 1 and Tacoma nothing. And John Best and I will be back to talk about that first quarter after we take a break. A timeout on this Tacoma Stars soccer telecast. Have it downfield, deflected off a defender taken by Neil Cohen. Cohen out to Mike O'Mara on the left wing. Here come the Steamers again. O'Mara with the ball, looks back for help. Nobody there. He still has it to Cohen down the right side. Scored! Cohen got it out in front off Cacciatore, I believe, and had deflected into the goal. From here, John, it looked like it may have deflected off Cacciatore in front as they let it go, Cohen from the right corner. And we'll just have to wait and see. Here it comes again, John. Let's yes, see if it's touched uh, by Cacciatore or not. Yes, the, the, the wide player there has uh, got himself some clear space. It's Cohen, of course. Him, his Cacciatore playing it wide to Cohen, strikes the ball very hard, and in fact it went uh, deflected off uh, Beretta's heel. Yeah, I, he couldn't stop it. You're right. I, I think it was Cohen's goal all the way. We take a break with the score 2 0 St. Louis, and we take time out on this Tacoma Stars soccer telecast. All right, we're ready to resume play. 2 0 in favor of St. Louis now. Cohen was assisted by O'Mara. Mike O'Mara, number 19, got the assist at 7 33 was the time of the goal. So now the Stars almost had possession there for just a moment. They lost it once again. And back on the attack will come the uh, St. Louis Steamers. Duran out on the left side. Duran working his way past Mark Peterson down the left wing. That is Duran with the ball for St. Louis, number seven. Bounced it off the boards, but it's cleared back out a bit. Ricky Davis on it. Davis into the penalty area, but it's kicked away from there by Mark Peterson. Doran over in the corner on the left side, battling Ralph Black of the Stars to Davis. A drive that's off the glass. And Ray Evans brings that one down, gets it back to Beretta. Beretta with a little bit of pressure rolls it out on the left side. It was O'Mara covering. Here's Ray Evans up into the middle. It goes to Dale Mitchell. Mitchell back to Evans running over the red line for a shot that is wide off the boards. Driven back. Megson and the goalkeeper already John sitting down caught the ball. <laughs> Obviously in the right place at the right time Bob. Uh, he Ilyevsky is a very good goalkeeper. It's good positioning but uh, in that particular case he was probably reacting a bit too quickly but he was in the right place at the right time. I wouldn't advise playing goal in that position on a constant basis but he did certainly get the job done on that, that particular play. Here's Gary Heal on the right side number four now for the Tacoma Stars. Back it goes. The ball goes back to Charlie Carey. Carey out on the right side intercepted Doran. Doran with Davis on the attack. Two against two through to Davis running into the left corner. Ricky with the ball off the board away from him and the Stars come back on the attack. Upfield to Gary Heal. Heal turns against Rose. Down goes Gary Heal. Tripping foul on Rose. Foul 
on Carl Rose, a 5'9", 145-pounder, another of those 14-minute penalty players for the St. Louis Steamers. And it will be Tony Towers of the Tacoma Stars, number 16, kicking the ball into play. Tony Towers ready. Ball across the field. Goes over there to McAllister, back out to Sinclair. Sinclair coming forward over the red line. Ahead to heel up with a boot to stop that one. Back it goes. Towers down the right side to heel. Rose on. Got it in front. And a man goes down in front. That is Carey, but he couldn't get a clear shot. McAllister out in front of shot. Diving stop by Ilyshevsky. Driven right back off the glass over the top by Sinclair. Heel out on the right side. Tried to center it, and that's stolen away. And here once again come the St. Louis Steamers. Pesha on the attack on the right side. Jimmy McAllister running with him. Countdown to halftime. Ball takes a big bounce into the Tacoma bench as Ralph Flax almost leaped in amongst his teammates that time, trying to stop the ball, John, from going over the board. Yeah, he knew it was going to bounce over the top, obviously, Bob, and uh, was doing everything he could to get his foot to it before he went out there, but obviously he wasn't, wasn't able to reach it. Dangerous to his teammates. 15 seconds to play in the first half. 2-0 St. Louis. Steamers have the ball to put in play here at the Tacoma Dome. Still a half to go in this match, and you can bet that... Uh, the Stars will come storming back in that second half. They want to win in front of the big home crowd. Here's the ball kicked out over the red line. Now takes a bounce. Carl Rose there. They're counting down the final seconds. Three, two, one. Here comes McAllister. Could not get a shot away. There's the horn to end the first half. And so at halftime, the score is two to nothing in favor of the St. Louis Steamers. John, they got one early at 55 seconds with Pacia scoring from McEwen. They got another midway through the second quarter. Cohen on that uh, sharp angle shot from the right side. O'Mara got the assist on that one. And that's it. It has stood up for the 2-0 uh, lead. But I'm not sure that the Steamers on territorial play have been two goals better than the Stars. No, I, I don't really think so, Bob. Although uh, they have made it very difficult for, for the Stars to flow. All right, we're at halftime. The score, St. Louis Steamers 2, Tacoma Stars nothing. We have news and a special feature coming up during halftime. So we'll take our break right here. At halftime, we take time out on this Tacoma Stars soccer telecast. In not quite six full seasons of activity, the MISL is almost as popular already as the NBA and the National Hockey League. Start with some elaborate player introductions, throw in fast-moving, high-scoring action, and it all adds up to indoor soccer, MISL style. Over 16,000 fans watched the league's All-Star game two weeks ago in St. Louis. But crowds of that size are turning out to see regular season games, too. Mark Peterson remembers the Stars' first trip to Baltimore. Well, I think it was fabulous, uh, you know, especially after playing in front of so many low crowds in the outdoor. Uh, you go and you see a place like Baltimore, it's 10,000 people, and they're all screaming and yelling for their team. It's just, it's incredible, you know. Uh, I can see why it'd be hard for Baltimore or Kansas City or any of them teams to lose at home. I mean, the fans are just, like, right on top of you. I mean, if you don't play, they just about boo you off the field. So, uh, you know, as a home team, you're forced to play. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, it doesn't even have to sell out here for it to be loud. Uh, you know, the crowds we had around 7,000 or so, it's been really loud. And, uh, you know, you can tell the difference, and it's just unbelievable. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be getting crowds like that, you know, come the rest of the, this season and then uh, from here on out. When compared to the NHL and the NBA, the MISL has some pretty impressive attendance figures, especially when you consider the other two leagues have been around much longer and the fact the MISL has two franchises, Tacoma and Los Angeles, less than two years old. Interesting to note, the Kansas City Comets draw more fans on a per-game average than any team in the NBA, more than the Lakers and the Celtics. The Cleveland Force outdraws the Cavaliers, their basketball counterparts, by about 7,600 fans per game. Overall, the MISL is averaging over 8,900 fans per game this season, as opposed to a rough estimate of 11,000 for the NBA, and although the figure was not available at the time, probably around 13,000 for the NHL. The MISL just keeps on growing. Through February 20th, the league had recorded 28 sellouts, exactly double the number a year ago. And there's still two months of regular season play remaining. Well, I think the league is, uh, is doing very well right now. You know, it's still in a growing stage, and uh, I think it still has a long way to go before it's, you know, you can say it's a major league uh, sport. but. Um, 
like you say, the numbers in some of the cities are very encouraging, and I just hope that it doesn't really get too big too soon because I think that's what was the main problem in the NASL. We tried to grow too quickly. I think if you add a couple of teams each year and maybe relocates a couple of the ones that aren't doing too well, the league's got a real chance to, uh, to be a major league sport. The quality of play is major league already and improving every year. Well, like, we had some of the players in our my first year that I played with in Denver that came out here, and they uh, seemed like it made it tough for them to make the team because it's getting better every year. We're, I think more better players from the first year I was in, it was two years ago, I think from, from then to now, it's like night and day. Larry Bird, Julius Irving, and Wayne Gretzky might be more familiar to sports fans now, but just give the MISL a little longer, and maybe such names as Kai Haskiva, Stan Stamenkovich, and Fred Gergerev will be just as popular. It is 2-0 to St. Louis Steamers, leading the Tacoma Stars in major indoor soccer league action. But John, despite the uh, two-goal margin, the shots were all even at 14 apiece. Yes, in many ways, Bob, a very even half of play. Uh, St. Louis, I thought, played very well defensively. They, they made it difficult, as I said earlier, for Tacoma to play its normal flowing passing type of game. They, they tended to, to drop back. Uh, behind, behind the halfway line and then come forward and close Tacoma down quickly. What that did really was to cut out these early forward balls and, uh, and Tacoma had difficulty in flowing. All right, we're underway in the second half, the third 15-minute quarter of this major indoor soccer league game. Tacoma in the white, St. Louis steamers in blue, and Tacoma for the moment has the ball as Mark Peterson dropping back from an attacking position plays back to Megson. Ahead now to Dale Mitchell tried to heel it on through. Peterson tried to run on. Mitchell got it, but is broken up by the St. Louis Steamers at their defense, and they continue to hold on to that lead. Duncan McEwen with the ball. McEwen sends it across the field. Peterson back there after it now, got it back out to Megson, over on the left side on a field-wide pass to Ralph Black. Black back to Megson again, playing with that wrap on his lower right thigh. Long ball downfield, uh, skims off the head of Dick, the defender, and into the arms of Illinois with that, that top spin to let it sink right at midfield. Taken up in the midfield area by Walters. Right back to Walters down the right side. There's a drive off the boards. A shot, they score. It's Pesha again. Nigo Pesha scores at 4.52 of the third quarter. 4.52 the time. Pesha scores his second goal of the game. And for Nigo Pesha, who got that one, here it is again. That's Walters off the boards, John. It came right back out in front. The goal open as Beretta had gone down, and Pesha delivered it right back into the net. Almost a duplicate of the first goal, Bob, and, and yet again, they're using the boards very well. They're, by playing it close to the goal, but hard against the boards, you're forcing the goalkeeper to take the position, and then, of course, they're getting a man in well for the rebound, and uh, that's scored two good goals from it now. Well, Nego Pesha at 452 from Walter. And for Nego Pesha, that is his 22nd goal now. Tripping foul, Tacoma Stars quickly in play, down three goals, got it up front to Peterson. Back for heel, broke by a man, right side, Evan, shot, score! The Stars got one back. Good determination there, Bob, obviously. They, uh, they, they fought well, they played, played with good composure. There's heel playing it wide to Evan, strikes it well, and for the first time, they beat Ilyevsky tonight. So it is a three to one game as the Stars get one. Here comes Ray Evans in from the right side, bounced it off the defender there. So to the Ray Evans goal as he bounced it off the defender. And the Stars shut out to this point in the game. Score at six. Alistair put Duran down. And the foul was called on Duran. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. Here's the ball for Gary Heal down the right side, trying to get by Sam Bick. Down goes Heal, down goes Bick. Ball rolls back. And the play is stopped. We have a foul called on Sam Bick with five seconds. Gary Heal there, bounced right back up. Gary may have put a little flourish on going down here in order to make sure that play stopped, and it did. In fact, I think he obstructed him, Bob. He, he allowed the ball to go against the boards and took the rebound so that, in fact, he, he out-positioned the defender, and the defender wasn't, allow, wasn't going to allow him to just run by, obviously. Free kick, Ray Evans in the right wing, five seconds, the shot. And it is off the body of the defender, Daryl Duran, and over the glass, out of play. So it'll be another free kick coming for the Tacoma Stars. One second ticked away from the clock. We have four seconds to go in the third quarter. 
Just caught the ball on the right side. Ray Evans once again to put it in play. Looking for an open man now. Now we're ready. Ray puts it off the boards in front. Ball rattling around. Kicked up high in the air. Evans heads it as he goes down, and there's the horn. So we have come to the end of the third quarter here in the Tacoma Dome and in our major indoor soccer league game tonight. The St. Louis Steamers are leading the Tacoma Stars by a score of 3-1. to one, And we'll take a break right here. Time out on this Tacoma Stars soccer time. In the Tacoma Dome, the Los Angeles Lasers, Tacoma Stars in major indoor soccer league action. Stars coming right back with the ball now. Towers down the left side. Mark Peterson in front for a shot. Oh, and a great save. Peterson scores! Mark Peterson! Obviously, Bob, that's just the tonic which, uh, which the Stars were looking for at this stage of the quarter. And here it is. Peterson plays a nice ball across the heel. He has to stretch. You know, he doesn't get power behind the shot. Goalkeeper saves it, but he can't get up to block the rebound. Peterson's on it like a flash. Here's here, another look at it. Here it is from another angle. Gary Healy assists here from this side now. Watch. Heel got it out in front again, and Peterson on the, on the rebound. Puts it in at 2.57, and the Stars are... Tractor. The, the Stars players very, very well from the defensive point of view, and then they're able to counterattack very quickly. All right, Jimmy Sinclair wearing a red goalkeeper's jersey there, and the ball will be put in play. Sinclair has it, and as you can see, he's not playing it like a goalkeeper at all. He will bring it up, dribbling out on the right side to Ray Evans, and here come the Stars. Six men on the attack now, or five men on the attack against four outfield players and the one goalkeeper. They have the man advantage in the field, but no keeper. Evans, a drive off the crossbar, off the glass, just above the goal. Sinclair stops it at the red line. On the left side to Peterson. Down in the left corner, Carey. Banked it off a defender and off the board. Heel to Carey, out in front. Ball kicked long down the field. Sinclair will run back after it, but the ball will be far off target as the St. Louis Steamers would like to have sent that one to the open goal, but they could not, and uh, Jimmy Sinclair got back to it. To Ray Evans, 3.14 to go in the match in regulation time. Right side, Gary Heal in the corner along the right boards, back out for Ray Evans. Evans sets it up out on the right side. In the middle now it goes to Jimmy Sinclair, the goalkeeper. Right side, Evans, a shot and a diving save by Slobo once again. Ball in the corner, kicked down the field, stopped at the center line. Sinclair has it. Sinclair working forward. The penalties are over. Both teams at full strength. Now the Stars have six attackers against five. Here's the ball loose, and down goes Olaszewski again as he covers the ball in the penalty area with Gary Heal falling over him. Ball kicked away. Is that going to make it to the third line? No, it takes the bounce, but it goes over the glass and out of play, and the fans will feel that one. Two minutes and 33 seconds remaining to, in the game. That's in regulation time. The Stars can tie it and put it into overtime. Some very good chances there for the Stars, Bob, obviously. And that bit of pressure just before the teams came back to full strength. Ray Evans hit a great shot, which hit the crossbar. And then uh, Gary Heal did very well in, uh, in knocking the ball against the boards. But uh, Carey's shot, again, was just a little bit high. Here we go. Sinclair with the ball to Evans. Three to two, St. Louis Steamers. Two and a half minutes to go. Evans upfield ahead to Gary Heal. Heal lost the ball, but it got back to Evans. Evans down the right side, drives it, trying to get it off the glass, but he put it over the top and out of play. And I'm sure, John, that Ray's aim there was to play it around the curl and get it out in front, but he got under the ball a little too much. Yes, absolutely. He was under extreme pressure again from the defender and uh, forced him to really strike the ball when he's off balance, and uh, consequently it went, it went high and over the top. So it'll be a free kick coming now back in their own defensive end by the St. Louis Steamers, who coming in tonight were just percentage points behind Kansas City in the race for first place in the Western Division. Ball to Ricky Davis. A win tonight would put St. Louis back in first by a half a game over idle Kansas City. And of course, the Stars would, would drop a bit farther off the pace. They are six and a half behind the leaders coming in. Only three games out of the playoff picture with the Los Angeles Lasers coming in on Saturday night. Stars have won four of their last six. They trail by a goal. There's a drive over the top from out on the left side by Mark Peterson. That was almost a full side volley. He came up on that ball and hit it, and he really he really rocketed that one, John, but he just got up a little too high. Yes, a uh, very, very difficult shot to take, Bob, although if it had been a little bit lower and there'd been a, a rebound again off, off the glass, then there were players in position to, to look for the tap-in. It's a strategy which, which works well, and it's a, it's a skill to accomplish within the game. Goal 
kick now, and foot thunder commences once again here at the Tacoma Dome. When you come to the games, you'll have an opportunity to be a part of foot thunder. The fans do that and have a great time with it. Ball runs along the top of the boards now. As you see the clock there, that shows the time remaining, 1.49 to go and counting. Sinclair forward to heel. Gary out on the right side to Tony Towers. Towers back out in the middle to Sinclair. Sinclair looks left, comes back right to Towers. Towers cross field pass to Black, traps it off the boards, has to battle for it now, lost it. Here's a long one down the field. Look at Sinclair racing back for the ball, but it'll go wide. You can see Sinclair ease up when he realized that the ball would curl wide of the net and not go in. Here come the Stars right back. A minute 20 to go. Over to the right side to Tony Towers. Towers sets it up, got it in front to heel off the boards. Pearson in front, Pearson, a shot blocked in there by Rose and kick clear again. That's a three-line pass as it goes back into the Tacoma end. Tremendous pressure again, Bob. Uh, all sorts of bodies around the goal and very, very difficult to, uh, to get a clean shot in at goal. The most uh, valuable players of these games have just been passed over to us, Bob, from, uh, from, an from the offense. It's uh, Duran of St. Louis, and I think a well-deserved selection. He's played extremely well. Defensive player of the game is uh, Ray Evans of the Tacoma Stars, and again, Ray's played a fine game. Always well deserved when you pick Ray Evans as a defensive player, but I would have to say that uh, I would have to give almost an equal nod to young Neil Megson tonight. He's played super because he's had to play against the scoring star, one on one with Ricky Davis when he's in. Right, right. All right, here we go. Stars ball. They get it across now to Towers. He drives a shot off the boards. A rebound scored! Tony Towers is tied! So the strategy, Bob, of uh, pulling the goalkeeper, adding the additional player, once again pays off. They're able to tie the game in, uh, in the last moments. Here's a replay of it. The rebound again off the boards. Towers plays a low shot through so many bodies. The goalkeeper couldn't possibly hope to see that. And into the corner of the net. Here's another view of it again. See how many people are there. Goalkeeper at the near post couldn't possibly hope to, to reach that shot at the far post. John, it might be an unassisted goal because Towers played his own rebound in. I'm not sure whether they'll go back beyond that for an assist, but we are tied at 13.58 with a minute and two seconds remaining. And the Tacoma Stars have come from a 3-0 deficit. They were down three goals in the third quarter and have come back to tie it with only a minute and two seconds remaining to play. And so now, the possibility of overtime. And I'm sure that Freddie Goodwin there would like nothing better than to get this one into the win column before he has to go to another overtime because the Stars have had difficulties in those extra periods. Well, that's certainly right. Uh, Bob, you know, the, I think it's a tremendous effort again by, by the team. St. Louis have played very well. They've defended well. they made it very difficult for the Stars to play. Went three goals ahead, but the Stars kept plugging at it, kept going away not perhaps playing the, the most blowing soccer, but kept driving and driving and have now full level. During the minds of uh, many is that uh, the Stars have yet to win a game in overtime this season, and uh, maybe, maybe tonight's the night. Maybe they'll break the string. All right, the, the strategy now of Sinclair and goal, I would presume, may end, but I'm not sure. No, Sinclair is going to come back out, John. He's going to continue to be the goalkeeper. And as I said, Freddie Goodwin wants to win this without going to overtime. Absolutely right. I think that's, uh, that's a, an aggressive coaching move. Uh, I think it's a good move. I, obviously, the record in overtime has, has not worked well. It might be in the minds of the players. They might have some concerns in the overtime. So go for it now while you've got some momentum. And regardless of the outcome, I think from a coaching point of view, it's a, it's a good, bold, aggressive move. One minute to go as Sinclair has the ball. Give Fleming Pearson an assist on Tony Towers' goal and tied it at 3-3. We're in the final minute of regulation time. On the left side, Black, back to Sinclair. Sinclair to Ray Evans. Stars attacking with six. Down the right side now. Out in front, and Mark Peterson struck out on it. He missed it out in front. Long one down the right side for Ricky Davis. Ray Evans runs him up against the boards and stops him. Sinclair gets back in goal. They try to get it out in front. Sinclair slides into the ball, knocks it away. Davis goes down. He put his hand on the ball, but they'd already called a tripping foul. So a free kick coming with 25 seconds to go. It'll be St. Louis ball just out to the right side of the penalty area in the Tacoma end. Sinclair in goal. The free kick coming from the right side. Ricky Davis. St. Louis steamers 3-3 three, three stars and the steamers here tonight we're ready Ricky Davis out in front for Bick a drive blocked in front loose kicked down the field by Mark Peterson 
goes all the way back to the red line at the St. Louis Steamers end. Kicked right on back now by Ilyshevsky. Headed away by Ray Evans. 13 seconds in regulation. Charlie Carey. Back it goes to Ray Evans. Evans comes out. Long drive downfield for Heel running in front, but it's cleared away. Three seconds, two, one. Has Sinclair heads it forward. There's the buzzer. Regulation time is over. We are going overtime. It's an overtime match. The score at the end of regulation. As Dave Clemens there just can't figure out what happened. He's shaking his head at the uh, St. Louis bench. 3-3 the score in regulation time. We go to an overtime period. But before we go to the overtime, we'll take a two-minute break. We take time out on this Tacoma Stars soccer broadcast shot on goal and uh, you don't have all of those bodies in front of you obviously that's uh, one of the good shooting opportunities again unfortunately got under the ball and it went high and over the crossbar all right here come the st louis steamers on the attack sinclair is back in the goal now as they cross the red line on the right side it is tim walter they want to get the good clear shot if it's substitute goalie it's broken up fleming pearson took it away fleming pearson and the stars have the ball again they have virtually owned it they ditched their names in it here in the overtime period. Ray Evans on the attack, turns it to the left, and here comes Jimmy Sinclair again. Here he comes over the red line, to the right side to Evans. Drives it across to the left, off the boards to Ralph Black. Black back out to Sinclair again. The playmaker, the goalkeeper, the defender, the attacker. Ray Evans sends it in front of shot, score! Mark Peterson from Evans, the Stars win it! Tremendous goal for the Stars, Bob. Ray Evans, instead of playing the ball, down the boards, as has been the pattern of play uh, right throughout the overtime. He drove the ball hard and low. And again, Peterson, one of the great skills which Peterson always has had. Hey, the look at it. On the, field, the, well. on the field, the players, in the stands, the fans, everybody is just overjoyed with the overtime victory. Tacoma 4, the St. Louis Steamers 3. Mark Peterson's second goal on an assist from Ray Evans. Ray drove it in front hard. Peterson was there and just flicked it through the goalkeeper down low. And that's it. The Stars win it in overtime by a score of 4-3. to three. John and I will be back to recap the victory in just a moment. Well, let's take a moment here to do it right now, John, before we wrap up. Here's another look at it as the ball goes in and the Stars have won it. Mark Peterson, two goals tonight for the Tacoma Stars. And for Mark, a total now of 26 for the season as Ray Evans got the assist on the winner and the Stars win it by a score of 4-3 to three to run their record now to 12-21 and 21 and gain some ground and tighten it up. And so that's it. That's the story of tonight's game. Stay tuned for the 10 o'clock news for John Best at the Tacoma Dome where the Tacoma Stars win 4-3 over St. Louis at 9.39 of overtime. This is Bob Robertson saying thanks for joining us, reminding you to always be a good sport. Be a good sport always. So long.